What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to take a look at ratios and proportions in geometry. So we're going to go through these three examples here, and let's get started. So for the first question, we're dealing with the angles of triangle ABC in the ratio of 1 to 2 to 3, and we want to know what type of triangle this is. So we could start off by just drawing some random triangle, and we'll label the sides, or the angles, A, B, and C. And from here, we have this ratio for the angles, 1 to 2 to 3, and what we could do is just put an X next to all of them. Because whatever X is, let's say X is 10, then I would have 10, 20, 30, and those three numbers hold the ratio of 1 to 2 to 3. And then since this represents triangle ABC, I'm going to throw 1X next to A, I'm going to throw 2X next to B, and I'm going to throw 3X right next to C here inside the triangle. So what we're going to use from here is the idea that the sum of the three interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So if I set up this equation, x plus 2x plus 3x equals 180 degrees, this is going to allow us to solve now. So I have 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. I have 6 times x equals 180 degrees. Now divide by 6, and I've got x equals 30 degrees. So what I do from here is I just have to plug everything back in. So if I want to know the actual measures of each angle, for A, if I plug in x equals 30, I have 30 degrees for A. B is 2 times 30, so if I do 2 times 30, I'm going to get 60. So I have 60 degrees. And now for C, 3 times 30 is 90 degrees. So this is a right triangle because it has a right angle, 90 degrees here. So for question two, we're using this idea that we're inside of a parallelogram and we're told that two consecutive angles of this parallelogram are in the ratio of two to seven. So what we could do with that information, and I'm just gonna draw these lines in to show it's a parallelogram because I'm not the greatest artist in the world. So it's going in the ratio of two to seven. And once again, I can multiply each of these by X and put them in place of the two consecutive angles. This one looks like the smaller angle, so I'll call this one two X and the one right next to it I'll call 7x. I could have labeled this one 7x as well because opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent, but I just happen to label these two. And what we want to do from here is use the idea that two consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. So what it means for them to be supplementary is that when I add them two together, that they add up to 180. So that allows me to do 2x plus 7x equals 180 and I'll put the degrees in here. And now we have 9x equals 180 degrees. And when we divide by 9, we've got x equals 20 degrees. So then when I want to actually solve for these angles, I could just plug back in. And what we have is on bottom in this left corner, 2 times 20 degrees is 40 degrees. And in the top left corner, 7 times 20 is going to give me 140. And if I want to do a quick mental check of my work, when I add those two together, I get 180. And if I had to find all four, opposite here would be 40 degrees, and opposite here would be 140 degrees. But to answer the question formally, find the measure of each angle, the two angles that we were interested in were the 40 degree angle and the 140 degree angle. Now for this last question here, we want to know, is it possible for the measures of the sides of a triangle to be in the ratio of 2 to 3 to 7? So we're going to use the same idea for ratios, that if I set up this ratio 2 to 3 to 7, I'm multiplying all of them by x. But this time around, I also have to add in the specification that whatever x is, it has to be greater than 0, because I'm not going to be setting anything equal here. I'm not going to be doing 2x plus 3x plus 7x equals 180. That would be a very bad trap here. I'm going to label the three sides of the triangle 2x, 3x, and 7x, but once again, we're not adding these all together. We're going to be using the triangle inequality theorem, which says that if you have some triangle with sides ABC, the sum of the two smaller sides has to be bigger than the third side. So if we use that idea for this question, the two smaller sides are the ones with the 2x and the 3x. And when we add those two sides together, it has to be bigger than the third side by the triangle inequality theorem. But if we look here, 2x plus 3x is going to give you 5x. And this inequality I could already see is not true. Remember, we specified because it represents the lengths of the sides of a triangle, x has to be greater than 0. 
So that means I'm allowed to divide by x, and I don't have to worry about any division by 0 or dividing by a negative. And that tells me in this case, since x is greater than 0, that would lead me to this inequality here, 5 greater than 7, which is not true. Okay, this is a false statement. So because we wind up at a contradiction here, by the triangle inequality theorem, it is not possible for the measures of the sides of a triangle to be in this ratio 2 to 3 to 7. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on ratios and proportions in geometry. If you found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe. It helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.